Hi legends, it's Rochelle from Kitsap CrossFit here to bring you your at-home workout of the day. All right, here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with our warm-up. We're going to do eight each. Toe touches, groiners, arm circles, down dog, up dog. You'll do it eight each, two times through. And then we'll move on to our workout of 21, 15, nine. My favorite rep scheme of stone to shoulder air squats, strict press. After each round, you'll do five burpees. All right, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is go over our warm up. okay? So like I said, you're gonna do eight each of these simple toe touches. Just start hinging at the waist, down and up. Go for eight of those. Then you'll go right into your groiner from there. And I might wanna modify it with my stool that I'm gonna end up using for my air squats. So I'm gonna get into a nice runner's lunge. Nice vertical shin is the goal, knees out. And then I'm simply going to switch. Back and forth, take your time. Back and forth, eight reps, okay? Then arm circles. You'll do eight tiny forward. Eight medium circles. And eight of your biggest circles full range of motion, simply repeat that backwards. Tiny, medium, and large, okay? After that, your down dog, up dog. A lot of you can do that from the floor. Hands down, press your head through your shoulders, pedal out your feet, and come up high in a nice up dog position, back and forth. For some of us, that's too difficult, so I'm gonna use my stool again and modify. I'm going to press my head through. Make sure your stool is secure and doesn't move and then come up nice and high. Maybe I can use my couch for the same thing right over here. So do that warm up uh, eight reps each two times through, okay? And then we're gonna move on to the fun part. Uh, this was the best part of my morning, uh, having a scavenger hunt, if you will, looking around my house now that I know my workout, uh, you guys are gonna probably wanna write this down, 21159, stone to shoulder. So I am walking around and I found this awesome bag of bird seed, okay? 10 pounds, I like it, okay? So just like it were my slam ball or a regular stone, I'm gonna hinge forward with a nice proud chest and use my hips to drive the bird seed up. Place it on the ground and switch sides. That is your stone to shoulder. Remember, it's a hip-driven movement. Nice flat back at the bottom. You can find, uh, there's lots of stuff. I thought about getting an actual rock from the garden. I kind of hurt my shoulder, I think. So I like this bag option, okay? Um, air squats is next. Um, we all sit down every day in our home. I've got lots of different targets. If I can squat with my hip crease below parallel, that is my goal, okay? If I need to modify, I'm gonna go ahead and use my stool and tap and stand. Remember, feet are shoulder width apart, send your hips back and down, tap and stand. You can use your sofa or any chair, tap and stand to complete your reps of the air squat, okay? Strict press is the last item. I'm gonna start light and I like olives. <laughs> so remember for uh, pressing overhead, everything is nice and tight, okay? Squeeze your butt, your gut and your quads together. Elbows are slightly in front and I'm simply going to press my olives straight up overhead, driving my head through. That was a nice warm up weight for me. These are pretty light. So I actually went outside and I found some bricks. Okay, um, they're not too heavy. I've already tested these out. So you're gonna be going around your house um, inside or outside and finding that item that uh, is the appropriate weight for you. Okay, so now I can have them on my shoulder, elbow slightly in front, squeeze everything tight and press and return. Okay, a nice strict press, all right? So those, uh, that is what I'm choosing to use for my workout today. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna set my olives aside. That was a good warm up weight. So now uh, the last thing I want you to do after you've gathered your pieces of equipment for your workout is to do um, like uh, a few reps of each of these things to make sure that you know the flow of the workout. And then remember, we're finishing with five burpees after each. So uh, I'm going to do 21 stone to shoulder. I'm just going to do a few reps to show you. Okay, then my air squats is next. Good, I like it. Then I'm grabbing my weights and my straight press overhead. Good, I like that. And my burpees is the last piece I didn't talk about, but remember a burpee is fully getting down to the ground, up, jump and clap. Many of you will be modifying to that stool with a whip up or even simply stepping out, stepping in and standing up. All right, so I'm super excited to see how your workout goes. Uh, email me back and let me know uh, what you chose for your items and how long it took you. See you next time.